Hey there, Saber World. This is Goodman. Uh, this is the first of, I'd say, three videos I'm going to make for this particular Saber. Uh, this Saber is entitled King's Meat. It is a reference to my favorite uh, short story written by Orson Scott Card. Uh, if any of you children out there still read books, look it up on the internet or Google him. Um, King's Meat, K-I-N-G-S-M-E-A-T. Always time for a good read. Anyway, uh, that story has a lot of uh, significance with this particular saber. It took a, a few of the design elements and some of the inspiration, at least that I feel whenever I read that short story, um, into this saber. Designed to have a more kingly, regal feel, I would call it, um, and resemble something closer to a sword. So whereas typical lightsabers are sort of shorter, and more utilitarian looking, such as that one. Uh, the King's Meat was designed to be longer and have a little more of an elegant curve. It uses uh, a cat's eye pommel, sort of like a flare at the base of the saber, uh, with some detailed etching. Um, this here is the crystal, which is illuminated. You'll see that shortly. Uh, the pommel then tapers back down into the main grip, which is just a, a, a stainless tube and then flares back again uh, into the main section. For a crown, so to speak, I used um, one of those rare claw sets. And again, all these parts you can find on the thecustomsabershop.com. Uh, go there if you've never been and you'll be pleasantly surprised. Uh, it uses the gold AV plate, the gold-plated AV switch, which is a neat function, and an ultrasound 2.5 board. So. Aesthetically, I, I was really happy with how it came out. Um, the person who commissioned that saber wanted that feel similar to an Andoril, which is uh, the sword here. So, again, with the idea of an exaggerated pommel being thicker, which is what this is, sort of that narrower grip, which is what this is, and then this this flare, um, which is what, again, here these the, the claws are designed to. Uh, elicit or sort of feel like. Not claws or not um, guards in the sense that they jut straight out from the saber, but that they sweep forward. A small concession. So the saber uses an ultrasound 2.5 board. Let it boot up here. Ultrasound 2.5. It has a status light which is amber and then a mock uh, LED which is red. So just a couple of small design details. That'll flash intermittently, showing that the Sabre is powered up and ready to go. And also a 2.1 millimeter recharge port. So you can charge the Sabre by just plugging it in like a cell phone. Go ahead and fire this up. The original Sabre was actually designed to use, or intended to use, a Luxion the cyan LED, or even the Luxion 3 cyans, um, but we really wanted to match the main blade with the crystal, and I just couldn't find a cyan LED for the back end of 3 millimeter or 5 millimeter um, that, that matched the cyan well enough, close enough. So we instead switched it to a Sol P4 green and bumped the pack down to a 4.8 volt. Uh, NIM battery pack. I'll show you what this looks like fired up. So that's the Sabre with its basic functions. Um, a nice little tidbit about this particular Sabre is that the crystal pommel, when I fire this up, uh, the, the crystal pommel glows, just a small detail. And also, i go ahead and power the Sabre back off. you can remove the uh, sort of a pommel crystal. So fairly simple, just a little bit of detail on the back end of it. 
Um, also, if you wanted a louder saber, incidentally, you could remove this crystal lug and get a, and it wouldn't uh, obstruct the sound from coming out of the sound hole. And it's much louder, as you can see. King's meat. So, hope you like it. Fairly uh, simple saber, but uh, I think a unique design, utilizing again parts from the custom saber shop and a very painstaking wiring job by me. Ends up with a unique and hopefully enjoyable saber. A couple of small gimmicks on the back end, and you're done. Thanks for watching.